Hello, 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 everyone. Happy Saturday, Sunday night. Hope you guys are having a great one. It has been so much fun after our amazing, amazing Black Friday seven hour event. It wasn't a five hour, wasn't a six hour. It ended up being like six hours and 53 minutes or something. So please, if you have not been able to check that out, go check it out. Um, it is a lot of fun. We are super, super excited for you guys to tune in and hang out with us tonight because when I say us, I just mean me and Gus. So as you guys tune in, share with us where you're visiting from. Let us know what you've got going on. I'm super excited to have you guys here. We're making my ultimate favorite chocolate chip cookie recipe tonight. And I start on like watching what I eat again tomorrow. So I thought, why not in strong making my favorite cookie recipe? Hey, Renee. Hello, everyone. I hope notifications get sent out. Renee says she's just doing laundry. I totally understand. It is Sunday and there's a lot of stuff to do on Sunday evenings. Am I right or am I right? So, hey, Linda. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Janice from Florida. Oh, my goodness. Um, let me know if you guys got a notification. Maybe they'll be sent out a little bit late. I don't know. Michelle just got her notice. We're just, we're just getting started, guys. I've got all my things together. But I'm very upset because my beautiful KitchenAid mixer that my dear friend Kendall purchased as a housewarming gift, I'm going to show it to you. It's black. It's my favorite. I've never used a KitchenAid before in my life, like more than I have since I got this one. And it's so good, um, but we're really excited because it's my favorite. So I'll have to move over to a place to plug it in because my whole island is really large, but there's like nothing to like no plugs. So I don't know if I'm missing them or what, but I wish there was a plug. So as you guys tune in, share with me where you're visiting from. Let me know what you've got going on. I'm super excited to be here tonight, guys, because um, we're making my favorite chocolate chip cookie recipe. Um, and we're really, really excited. Um, so Gus is being very loud. I don't know if you all can hear him. Um, so it's super fun. So hello, everyone. We're going to make some cookies. Who's ready? Hello from everyone. Hello from um, Oregon, Miami in the house, Texas. Oh, Lizette, we missed um, you all too. Sorry we're not live yesterday or today at normal time. It was a little bit exhausting from um, all the craziness. So it's so good. So as y'all are tuning in, say hey. And Gus is literally running around. I have no idea what this dog is doing. <laughs> He's running in circles. Um, he may be 12 years old, but he is... I like going crazy. So anyway, we're super excited. Cyber Monday is tomorrow. So we have extended our self, um, our sale for everything for Cyber Monday it is extended. As you guys know, we're still doing a ton, a ton of giveaways. So be sure if you need to extend your membership, extend it. And if you um, want to, you can get your summit passport and everything like that. It's all linked down below. Um, so I'm going to give that to you guys if you need it. I'm going to drop these and then we're going to get crafting and cooking right along because I am a one man show tonight um, and it's super good. So if you need to extend your membership and you want to get locked in, I know there's been a ton of questions and different things like that. Um, so we want to make sure everyone is situated and customer service has been walking, working their tail off. So God bless the whole team. I cannot wait um, to recap with everyone how great Black Friday was and the weekend um, tomorrow. So anyway, we're making my favorite, favorite chocolate chip cookie recipe, which I'm going to pull it up on my phone as well because I pretty much have it memorized, but you guys know you just need to, to focus in sometimes. So I want to talk about where I got this recipe from. So I found this recipe. It is not my recipe. It is from my friends at Pinch of Yum. Now, if you guys love to cook, you need to check out pinchofyum.com. They are a couple that blog and teach people how to cook. And we are so, so excited um, because they're amazing. I got to meet them at a blogging conference. They're so good and thorough about everything that they do. So the recipe is for the best soft chocolate chip cookies ever. This is the recipe. I've linked it for you guys in the description. So if you want to follow along with the same recipe we're using tonight, be sure to check it out. Um, link down below. It is so good. Court's calling. Should we answer it? We'll say hey to Court real quick. 
Core, I'm doing a live stream. How are you? Hola. Hola. Say hello to everyone at home. Who's everyone? I'm on, we're doing a live stream. Oh, hi, everyone. <laughs> we're about to make chocolate chip cookies. Yeah, save me one. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to give them away tomorrow since I'm trying to watch what I eat. <laughs> so it's good. What's up? Can I call you back? Yeah, I was just listening to a podcast and I wanted to debrief it with you. Oh, okay. Well, I'll call you back as soon as I'm done. Sounds good. Okay, Bye. love you. Bye. Oh my gosh. Okay, she's driving home back to school. But anyway, guys, we're back on the cookie recipe and it's going to be so much fun. So what you need for this, eight tablespoons of salted butter. Got my eight tablespoons. It's a whole stick. Half a cup of white sugar, half one fourth cup of lot brown sugar. I only had one egg left, so you had to. I literally have one egg left, so luckily you have to have one egg for the recipe. So anyway, guys, what we're going to do is I'm going to preheat the oven to 350. I'm going to swiggle over, guys. I cannot wait to get a new uh, backsplash for the house because we need one so bad. It does not match. It does not match anything in the entire house. Um, so you can see, look at my backpack that I got myself for my birthday. It's my favorite thing. Um, anyway, I'm gonna preheat the oven to 350. So we're preheating that, and we are gonna get started with, dun, 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 dun. I have no idea what the first step is. So I'm gonna pull it up here. If you guys wanna follow along with me, have fun. There's a few tips in here that we're gonna definitely talk about because I've made this recipe so many times and there's things that you need to know. So cookies in the morning, <laughs> Melissa, how are you doing? I cannot wait. Melissa, I'm promising myself I'm gonna be at the gym every day this week. Hold me to it, please. Um, Melissa's my workout bud. Um, but anyway, we are going to preheat the oven. Now we're going to use a stand mixer. We're going to beat the butter with the sugar until it's creamy. And if you have a stick of butter like me, you need to get a bowl. You need to get a bowl and we're going to melt it. Um, one of my favorite things about this whole thing is you can just melt all the butter. Um, and it doesn't have to be anything special. So I usually melt it for like 30 seconds or so. So we're going to do that, and uh, hey, I was hoping you were live today, but this is just as fun. Hey, Marie. Aw, thanks, Elizabeth. Hello, hello, hello. Chocolate chip cookies are the breakfast of champions, you know. Sally, I don't know if people at my gym would say that. I feel like I'd be looked very down upon, but I'm okay with that. Um, so it's pretty funny. But anyway, we are going to use a mixer and we're going to beat the butter with the sugars until creamy. So I need to go ahead and get one fourth packed light brown sugar. And on a side note, look at this Joanna Gaines black stuff. I love it. So anyway, I got these at Walmart Black Friday. What is up? And Blake during the event moved all my stuff over to it. So God bless his soul. So anyway, do, 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 do. We're just gonna do one fourth cup packed brown sugar, shebang. And then we're gonna do, I think a half a cup. We're gonna do, yeah, a half a cup of white sugar. And it says that she likes to use raw cane sugar with a coarse texture, but I just got regular sugar. I did get them at Target, Miss Elizabeth. So we're going half a cup over here with our regular sugar. Gotta get this. This is what makes it good. Shebang. Okay, that was a lot of sugar. Anyway, but yes, we've extended all the cells. So a lot of people have grabbed their Summit Passports. If you've not grabbed yours, highly recommend you grab them because they're going quick and we're super excited. A lot of people ask questions. If you get in on the Summit Passport, do you get your supply kit? And the answer is yes, 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 yes. Um, so we love it, love it. Um, we have not been able to cricket these yet because we're going to do it on a live stream. I would never do that without you guys. Um, I will, but it's going to cost you a cookie. Melissa, I'll bring you a cookie just to say the word. So here's our melted butter. We're going to pop this in here. 
And I forget if I can add the vanilla now or I have to combine those stuff. So we're gonna read because you do want to follow the recipe because this is gonna make you the best chocolate chip cookies. And you guys know I love cookies. I mean, look at the Oreos. Anyway, beat the butter with the sugar and then you add the vanilla and the eggs. So we're gonna beat this. So do, 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 do. We're gonna do this right here. So we're gonna beat that and I'm gonna get the vanilla. My dog Gus is so confused on what I'm doing, just to let you know. What is the name of the cordless glue gun, Davey? It's the Lynn Lily Sherbonder glue gun. So after you do this, it's all combined. And now you add a, Oh, I thought it was off. You're going to add just a teaspoon. Okay, guys, there's some weird noises happening in my house. Um, oh, the rec recipe is down below. Great question, great question. So it's in the description. So I believe we add a teaspoon, yeah, a teaspoon of vanilla. And they also have a teaspoon size Joanna thing. So look at this. So we're going to add a teaspoon of vanilla, but you can only beat the egg for about 15 seconds. So you can only beat the egg for about 15 seconds because for some reason, does anyone know why if you beat the egg longer than that, you'll, it'll, it'll be like bad or something? Well, I, I've got used to weird noises and I told my friend Kendall about the weird noises and she didn't believe me. So I told her what time we have a certain noise happen at my house every single night um, in my bedroom. And she didn't believe me. So she decided to stay at my house until like 11, 14 when it happens. And she like freaked. Catherine said it breaks apart. I'm not sure, but yes. Tanner, did you wash your hands? Um, I'm gonna do that before I start cloning it. We're like combining it. So we're adding the egg. This is when I hope it doesn't like crack everywhere. Do, do, do. Someone told me the other day. Ten seconds is all you get. Ten seconds. Someone told me the other, uh, the other day that it was totally fun. I mean, not totally fun to have dirty hands, but they said it bakes out, and I was like. Fair enough. I don't see the recipe posted. Sandy, you have to look in the description. I believe it's like the third link. So you'll see the link for um, getting your year membership at the using the coupon code BEST. That is extended for Cyber Monday. Woohoo! Um, link two, I believe it's for a pro course. Link three may be the link or it could be the summit class. I'm not sure. But yes, so you have to look for it. Now you all have me socked out because I know I posted it. So I'm going to double check and make sure. It doesn't have any cool emojis. I didn't know what emoji. I should have put like a cookie emoji. But anyway. Do, 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 do. Yep, it's right under grab your summit passport. It says best cookies. So you can go ahead and do that. I'll post it here for you. Hi, Jimmy. This is the best recipe. Whoa, that link is crazy there. Do, 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 do. If you guys have never been to a late not live stream, boy oh boy, they're fun. Um, okay, so I'm gonna drop that link for you guys. Pinch of Yum is an awesome blogger. There, it's a whole company started very small and they're amazing. Um, so you're gonna love them. Hey everyone, Whoa. Tanner Bell here. Welcome. Anyway, one of our videos started playing. Um, now we're gonna add the flour, baking soda, and salt. So how much flour do we need? We need. One and a half cups of flour. So we're gonna do that. So we're gonna add one and a half cups. So one cup, and now I'm gonna get my half cup. Actually, I'm gonna do two fourth cups. Ooh, getting crazy. Oh no, I'm making a mess. This is not good. Okay. So we've done that, and now we get to add, after that we add the baking soda. Okay, 
Does anyone know why they put baking soda in there? Um, it's insane. Um, but I'm going to add it just because it says it. So I never know how much baking soda actually add. So I'm going to do, I think it's just like a, like a little teaspoon or something. But I never like to measure it. So they're not, I'm just adding a pinch. And then I never want to get the salt out. So I literally take salt like I normally would do. And I just kind of like salt it. Have y'all ever done that? Just like salt it a little. That's plenty. And now we're going to combine it. This is looking great. I'm going to bring you all over just to take a little peek with me. If you have a weird sound at the same time each day, do you have a something hmm, that they could be on a timer? Hmm, I do not. Look at this. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Look at it, y'all. Looks so good. So this is going to make you like 9 to 12 large cookies. So the keyword is large. Sharon says you're a mess. Oh no. Welcome to the party. <laughs> okay. So after that, I think I'm going to turn it on. Add the flour, baking soda, and salt. So now I'm going to wash my hands. So do <laughs> feel better, Natasha. Welcome to my cupboards. Guys, I got this green sweater. I don't even know if it's a sweater, but it's really nice. And I love it. Um, I'm just washing my hands, just like so. <laughs> I feel like I'm teaching you all how to wash your hands. <gasps> Look at little Gus. Gus. Goosey. Oh, you got it out of the frame. It's in my head. It's this. Oh, you, maybe you'll see him again. Anyway, let me show you my favorite soap. So this is the soap I use all the time. It's limited edition Myers, um, but... I know, Heather, it's a, on purpose that it's our favorite green. Um, but this right here, this is the Myers Limited Edition scent. We, I got it last year. It's apple cider. If you guys find this on clearance at Target, please pick some up and think of me because it'll be the best you'll ever use. <gasps> Colleen just made sugar cookies. What is up, Salmon? How you doing? We're making cookies. It's always a fun time when we're making cookies. The doctor prescribed chocolate chip cookies with an antibiotic. Good. Amen. Okay. So I've already like pretty much done everything, I think, besides adding the cookie doughs. But I wanted to make sure I was able to do this. So we're done here. Kind of. So I've got the dough. The dough does not look like normal. It looks a little bit, I think I forgot something. Did I use enough flour? <laughs> I swear I feel like it's not thickened up enough. I'm gonna read it, we'll check everything. Okay, one cup and a half of flour, a fourth teaspoon of salt, vanilla, white sugar. <gasps> Guys, I used a whole stick of butter. I was only supposed to use a half stick of butter. I'm pretty sure. How many, how many tablespoons are in butter? <gasps> Thanks, buddy. That's okay, add another cup of flour. Ooh, I'm scared. I'm scared the dough does stay. Pretty good. Um, oh my gosh, you can taste the vanilla. Add more flour. Okay, I don't have another. Okay, I don't have another egg. I do not have another. Half a cup is one stick. What's eight tablespoons? One fourth stick is two tablespoons. Wait, wait, wait. So I was supposed to use a whole stick. Wait, 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 wait. I used a whole stick and that's eight tablespoons. I'm getting another stick of butter because I have a funny story about butter. Hold on. Do we have enough bottled water? <laughs> oh no. 
all the leftovers in the room in my fridge. Okay, I kept running out of salted butter when I wanted to make cookies. Wait, Heather says there is eight tablespoons in one cup of butter, one cube of butter. Okay, that's what I did. So at Costco, this is the first time I've ever bought butter from there. I feel like an idiot, but I'm not going to be running out of... Georgie says, I think you melted the butter too much. No, I always melt it like that, Georgie. It shows you on, the, yeah, Chadwick, thank you. Add some more flour. Slowly mix it until the consistency is right. Freeze it, Janice says. <sighs> hmm. There's a lot of opinions here. I feel very, usually the butter is to be softened. I agree, but I usually always do it like that. Okay, wait. Okay, I think I'm just overreacting. I think I'm just trying to impress you guys too much. Tanner, I just tuned in and I'm laughing my butt off. You are a riot. I love you, honey. <laughs> okay, I think I'm fine. I think I'm fine. Maybe we'll add like a little more, like a little, just a little, a little bit of flour. Okay, adding that in. And now we gotta get the chocolate chip cookies. So I feel like with that little bit of flour, it's gonna be good. Okay, I could have added too much, like anything. Add some oats, Elizabeth. I've never had oatmeal. The worst thing is that will happen that they will go totally flat and then you can make them into mini rolls. Has anyone watched my Instagram story? I tried to turn my cookie mistake when I didn't have an egg or butter or something into pancakes and it was a mess. <laughs> okay. We need three fourths cups of chocolate chips. Now in here, she likes to use a mix of chocolate chunks and chocolate chips, but we don't play that game here because I don't got them. So I like to do mini mini chocolate chips and then use big chocolate chips and we don't have all that cool stuff like uh, like what was I about to say where's the three-fourths cup and eh, I'll use this okay so we're gonna use some mini chocolate chips I prefer mini chocolate chips to be honest we're gonna use like half mini and then we're going to pop open the regular chocolate chips. Chocolate chips are all yummy. So R Rachel tells me that milk chocolate chips are better than semi-sweet chocolate chips. Can someone tune in and tell me what they think? I don't really know. <laughs> so we're going to add, woo, oh my lord. Okay, is that too many? I mean, hmm, quite a bit. I'll put some back in here. Can you ever have too many chocolate chips? That's the question. Okay, yeah, you can. I'll use them next time. I know you're probably not supposed to use one of these liquid ones, but we're at the end. Oh no, for baking, the semi-sweet are the best. Oh, Linda says, oh, people's debate with Rachel. You know what we're gonna be talking about on the show tomorrow. Milk chocolate chips are not as bitter. Cho milk chocolate is so good. Okay, Simon, I agree, but have you ever put it in cookies? I don't, I don't, I don't know. <clears throat> so now I'm going to use one of these fancy dancy mixing utensils. I'm going to let you all look at this and you tell me what you think of the dough. So here we go. Look at this. What has everyone got going on this week? Again, our sales have been extended. If you guys did not know, Cyber Monday is tomorrow, and we've had a lot of members request that we extend it because they have been super busy with the holidays. So if you want to get extended, click the first link down below. If you need your summit passport, buy two summits, get one free. Hallelujah. And thank you guys so much for supporting our Black Friday event. Okay, I overreacted for nothing. I'm so sorry. I freaked us all out. This is going to be great, guys. This is going to be great. Look at this. The extra flower, I think, brought us together. Oh my gosh, this is so good. We didn't beat the egg too much. We've combined it everything. This KitchenAid mixer, if you've all needed an ad for a KitchenAid mixer, use that shop Amazon link down below. That is an affiliate link, but treat yourself to a KitchenAid mixer. I don't know what life was like without one. Actually, I do, it was really sad because I just got one when I moved here. It was one of the only housewarming gifts I got. I got this and I got a few other things from one of my friends that I do work with. And it was so sweet. I don't know why, but I like didn't have a housewarming party. I honestly thought I would get like more gifts, but it's fine. Renee, we're not gonna go on or talk about 
we could be talking about raw cookie dough, but I'm going to pretend that I don't do that because I'm sure somebody here would get mad. So I'm going to pretend that I don't eat cookie dough, which I think you all know is totally a lie because I just did a minute ago. Anyway, these new things that I got at Black Friday, wow. I couldn't afford the really expensive ones, but these are from Better Homes and Gardens sold at Walmart because I'm from the South and I love it. Paxton says, love my KitchenAid. I've had it for 12 years. I didn't even know KitchenAid's been around that long. Um, Simon says, raw cookie dough, so good. I agree. I eat raw cookie dough all the time. Okay, I'm just glad I'm with the raw people. You know what I'm saying? You know those one few people that get ticked off or something? I don't know. I'm 66 and been eating cookie dough my whole life. I ain't dead yet. Oh my gosh. So my mammal's sister just celebrated her 91 birthday. Had a 1959 KitchenAid. Y'all, this is why I do live streams. I learn way more than I teach, honestly. Like anyway, um, so my grandmother, um, sister just celebrated her 90th first birthday. And I said, you're just getting warmed up. I said, you are just getting warmed up. My mom was like 78, like barely 80. And I said, you're, gonna do great. you're doing great. And she cracked up. I also had to break the news to my mom all tonight, guys. It was really sad and kind of like, I felt like my mamaw thought I was judging her. I'm get, saying this with love. My mamaw's hairdresser is literally as old as she is. Love her. Love my mamaw. My mamaw's hair versus her hairpiece hair, two different colors. The last time I had this chat with her, she fixed it. She went and got it taken care of. Well, she kind of been slipping, which her, her hairdresser did go down. She had been sick. She or not sick. She broke a hip. Like had a cracker barrel. What do you expect? Anyway, so with that being said, she's back. And I said, Mamaw. Mamaw said, can you order me a new hairpiece? And I said, do you want it the same color or same as you always do? And she said, no, I want it darker. And I said, Mamaw, why do you want it darker? She said, because Anne, her hairdresser, does not have the hair color to dye her hair back after I mentioned to her that it was not matching. Um, and I said, Mamaw. You cannot be going dark. My mama has never had dark hair. So I also had to break it to her that her hair was two different colors. And that brought up the subject. So long story short, she's working on it. She's going to be working on getting that fixed. And she's not going darker because I don't know why, but I think she'd look a little bit older with darker hair. So anyway, it's not good. Glad she's back. Ashley, my mama was so upset when she was out. I have another tangent for you all tonight. I have another tangent. I have two tangents. Courtney got me drying racks for cookies or cooling racks, I guess. They've changed my life. Um, second of all, I'm also super excited to tell you all about my new favorite product. This is Reynolds Wrap Heavy Duty Non-Stick. It eliminates the need for anything. Um, any oil, pan, anything like that. Um, so you can order this on your Amazon app. I do it all the time. <laughs> Renee says, I love this side of Tanner. <laughs> this is my entertainment for the night. Guys, you all didn't know I can literally talk about anything. So the reason why I love this is because you don't have to spray it. And do you know how many times I have burnt something or ruined something because I forgot to spray it? So yes, you're probably going to pay more money for it. But man, it's almost 2020 and we need convenience. Oh, we have some other friends that um, love, the, love the, the Pam. Oh, my friend says, doo -doo -doo. Emma says, hey, nice house. I love your beanie. Well, thank you, Emma. Someone said, I broke away from hubby date not to watch you, Tanner. Well, Heather, give her husband some attention. Bless his heart. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm sure you've had plenty of time today. Okay. Use parchment paper. Kimberly, am I not supposed to use Reynolds wrap? I am not no Rachel. What's her name? Rachel. Rachel Ray. Parchment paper will do, will do the same. Ron, um, no one has seen me naked before, so that's wrong. 
<laughs> okay. Wait, did we? I don't know how to block anyone. Lord help. Anyway, no need to use parchment or anything. They are amazing. Now you all have me stressed out. Parchment's the best. Oh no, I use parchment. Jean says, a little naked. No one wants to see me naked. I'm a chubby mess. Oh, the hubby likes the parchment. You like the foil. Which way's better? We'll never know. Now, guys, you all did get to see me wash my hands. My hands. So the whole um, amount of batter is supposed to only make like 12 cookies total. And where I've been chatting so much, it probably could be cool. But we're just going to roll with it at this point. I'm not. My friend uses paper bags. It totally works. Natasha, I don't know about this paper bag mess. Tanner, did you ever take a poll on how many people actually decorated their bedroom for Christmas? Cece, I want to know how many people actually decorate their bedroom for Christmas. Or if we gave you all inspiration, would you all actually decorate your bedroom for Christmas? Because I'm still judging Becca and her sister for decorating their houses for Christmas. But I'm not judging. I'm not judging. I'm saying like you can put like a tree in your room, but when you get like, oh, Natasha does it. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all, this is where getting good. I'm about to be eating all this cookie dough. <laughs> Never thought I'd like a long cookie dough until tonight. Tanner's channel is better than Hallmark right now. <laughs> was that? Crack me up. CC, I have moved it with her mother and she won't let me decorate elsewhere. So my bedroom is decked the hall to the halls. <laughs> I love it. Oh, you've moved in with your mother and she won't let me. Linda, I'm coming to your house and we got to teach your mama how to decorate. Let me know when to come. <gasps> the, one, the pastor, one of the pastors at church today said his mom watched our channel and somehow she put it together that me and him knew each other. And she was shook when she found out that he was like one of my pastors. Um, Courtney and I are currently on a church crawl. Um, there's not much young adults at our current church. Um, and you know, Courtney's going to be moving here and she really needs to find friends. Y'all, this is, I really need to freeze those. <laughs> We're struggling here. We're struggling. So anyway, Courtney and I are looking for just some other churches just so that she can like, we can go to, um, and get a part, become a part of. So we've been to about six now. One, two, three. Like four or five. Um, so tonight we went to another one that I've been I've been to before. So got to see a lot of people I, I knew. We had a really fun time. It's actually the church that Becca and Anna goes to. So we we spent a lot of time with them. I think they're tired of me. I hope not. My husband won't let me decorate until I put all my craft stuff away. That's gonna be hard. Jean. Oh Sharon, we're showing the porch this week. Silicone mats are great for cookies. I believe that, Cheryl. I do have some of those. My mama will scare you. I like you. I don't want to lose you. See you, Simon. Would wave, but, you know, it's not doing too good. Tanner, use a spoon. You don't need to roll them. Oh, <gasps> Colleen. Okay, so I'm going to do something about my hands. I only was able to make, like, nine cookies tonight. I've done something wrong. Okay, I'm going to step away and, like, slowly lick my hands. Okay, I'm going to wash my hands at this point. Another troll. Go commit ta tax fraud. I pay a lot of people a lot of money to make sure I don't commit no tax fraud. Because I don't want to be done playing that game. The devil is not playing with the church's money tonight. And he is not playing in my bank account either. Okay. Finding a church home is so important. Take your time to make the right choice. Sherry, I love all the churches. That's the worst part. If you... Do something with the flower. I don't know. Okay, hold on. Oh, no. Okay, I'm washing the hands. This is a hoot and a half, y'all. Trolls are so crazy. Elizabeth, what are they even talking about? Mm-mm-mm. Ice cream scooper for the dough. I love it. Okay, I'm going to get a spoon or something. So stressed with Thanksgiving being so late and I'm so behind decorating and crafting. Okay, y'all, here's the deal. If you're behind on Christmas crafts, no worries. Makers Gonna Learn is here to help you out. And the reason why is because I knew there was a ton of you that would be behind on decorating. That is why we have literally spent the whole month of November 
getting you guys ready with so many videos you can go back and watch, rewatch. We have the whole mantle, we have the whole tree, we have the front porch this week, and you guys are going to be set up for success. So we're going to be launching the ebook for our Christmas um, house decorating, so you can use it, and it's going to be so good. And if you guys need your summit passport, how many of you have been so busy this weekend that you couldn't even take a look at any deals? Okay, so we get that. We know that if you have been a member and you want to be locked in at our best rate possible, you can extend your membership today, add that and get that done using the existing member link on the website. Um, it is the lowest rate of the year right now, $40 off. It locks you in at $151.88. And if you are brand new, and you're like, Tanner, I have no idea where to begin. Definitely check out our membership for the yearly membership tier. It is $40 off and it is the best deal of the year. You get grandfathered in at that rate. And this is the only time of year that we grandfather people in. So you guys need to get it. Um, Ashley's already extended her membership. Sharon says, I want to thank you for uh, all that you've shown us. I did my first reverse canvas in tea towel today. Yay! Congratulations! <gasps> Someone dropped us $2. Ooh, first time on this channel. Hope, so, hope this helps. Thank you so much. Please let us know your friend. Let me know your name, my friend. My husband pulled all the decorations out and I'm gone and I'm gone for training. Aw, well, hopefully you get home soon. Aw, a lot of people's got theirs. So if you guys keep seeing guests walking around, he's in his own world, y'all. Um, if you guys have not got your Summit Passport, your Pro 2 ticket, or your year membership extended or your year membership in general, take advantage of this. Seriously, we want to have fun with you. And tomorrow we're going to recap all the giveaways from the weekend and we'll be announcing even more giveaways. So we have parchment paper, Melissa. It's cheaper than the miracle foil. Save that for the sticky stuff. Okay, I need to get one more spoonful out for a cookie. Melissa, will you please text me and let me know if you want me to save you a cookie? Because I really don't know what I'm going to do with all these cookies. Because I got on the scale on Thanksgiving. Big mistake. Big mistake. I haven't been on the scale since October. She ain't looking good. She ain't looking good. You guys know my favorite meal prepper. Her name is Monette. She had a baby in September. And it's been real depressing trying to eat around here without her. Real depressing. I used to eat good food, y'all. Now I'm eating like table scraps. Eat like turkey burgers with no bun. Except when I go to Chick fil A, which has been come almost every single day. When will you be live again? Samantha, we'll be back at our normal schedule. This weekend was crazy because y'all kicked me in the rear on um, Black Friday. So 11 a.m. for the member only live stream, and then 1 30 p.m. right here on the channel all week long. So, okay, popping these in. Alexa, set the timer for 12 minutes. Sorry if I just set off all ears. <laughs> Chick-fil-A is the best. Except for Sundays. Sharon, um, I know. Are all the course designed for beginners? Pro 2. Miss Karen. So we are very beginner focused. So the pro class just conquers like more advanced things that you would never see. And yes, you will love the pro class. Um, so we love it. Um, you can take advantage of the bundle, which will save you a ton and get you pro one where you can take advantage of today and you'll get access to it. And then pro two launches in January. So that would be a perfect program for you. Um, and it is so much fun. Elizabeth says, I'm being nosy. Look at all that water. We have a lot of water. Who wants a house tour? We're going to be doing a house tour soon. So let me know. Tanner, are those perfectly organized cookies in those jars above you? Yeah, we didn't know what else to put them up there, um, so we love it. M well, um, how do I get member-only videos? So there are some under the My Courses section, um, and you should have those. So there's all kinds. There's some in the Facebook group, and it's so much fun. Oh, yay! We'll be, be sure to do that. Um, okay, I might be the only person that does not like Chick-fil-A. It is way overpriced and you get small pieces. Renee, honestly, I feel like it's a pretty decent value, but maybe I'm wrong. I'm not too sure. Um, I think it's an okay deal. Aw, you all work so hard and it shows awesome membership. Thanks, Paul. Really appreciate it. How do you, how do those cookie jars stay full? Natasha, when I first bought this house, I said, nobody's touching these cookies. And if they do, they're not welcome back. So, um, 
I love it. And I may have told them I glued the lid shut. Not true. Not true. Alexa is so smart. I agree. I'm just cheap. I'm all about that dollar menu. Okay, Renee, if you're comparing it to the dollar menu, I agree. But I also have to say Chick-fil-A has some really good things that I would pay more for. Chick-fil-A most expensive fast food. <laughs> Chadwick. Okay, here's the thing. I also do not like McDonald's. I like Zaxby's. I hate Taco Bell. Um, ooh. I, I, I've been so good. Let me tell you. Let me tell you, y'all. When I started, I started CrossFit with Melissa back in. Melissa, I guess she's been going to CrossFit with me since, since I started. I feel like she has. I started that. It'll be my one year this Friday. One year in CrossFit this Friday. I feel like I should have more results, but then we talk about how much stuff I eat. So anyway, um, and then I started meal prepping with Monette in February or no, we didn't start meal prepping together until April. Um, so, oh, someone had Olive Garden today. I love it. What's that? Um, so we started meal prepping in April and that's when I started actually losing weight. It was so good. I went like six weeks without, um, it's so good. Um, we went like six weeks without eating bread, dropped a lot of weight. And then after um, she quit in September, it's been a rocky roller coaster of me eating fast food. But I do have to say, since eating fast food, I've spent more time with friends um, because before they didn't want to eat with me if I was bringing my box food. But it's okay. It, I usually just bring it. Congrats, Tanner. CrossFit rocks. Well, not for me. I like rolls, especially with butter. Y'all, I... I've got to the point where I really don't even like bread. Uh, a 24 hour Chick-fil-A is dangerous. Oh my gosh. Me, I need a dot too, y'all. That's what I'm going to try to do tomorrow. That's why we're ending it on the strong note with cookies. I love that. But yes. Um, our member only live streams on YouTube or Facebook. Facebook. So the member only lives 11 a.m. Eastern during launch weeks, which is what we're in the middle of. So go over there to get that. And again, all the links are down below. So I'm going to drop you just a few links um, and we're letting the cookies bake and we're going to be very meticulous about making sure they're um, taken care of. So I'm going to give you guys the join link if you need to extend your membership. I do not want people not getting locked in at the best rate of the year. So if you join throughout the year, you're probably not locked in at our best rate. You can email customer service and ask them and then they'll let you know exactly. Um, oh my gosh, Chadwick, I would chat out on some really good pizza. Chick-fil-A or Popeye's chicken sandwiches? I've not had the Popeye's chicken sandwich, but Rachel as to say, it's better. Oh, Jenny had a slice of cheesecake for dinner. Um, I went on Sunday nights, fun fact about me, um, I love going and getting a Starbucks coffee, planning my week, and skipping dinner. I do it every Sunday night. I have no idea why. Georgie says, sorry, but when will we get the Makers Can Learn box video? So the Makers Can Learn box video has been filmed and um, it should be emailed to you, but if not, um, email customer service and they'll email it to you, but it may not be sent out. So don't fret. I'll double check on that tomorrow. Oh, Cheesecake Factory for lunch. Courtney and I had some, a barbecue sandwich. We went over to um, a friend's house and we picked it up on the way. Everybody kind of brought something. Costco Cheesecake Jenny. Costco Pumpkin Pie was what was at my Thanksgiving. It was good. I'm on a medically supervised liquid diet and have lost 36 pounds in four weeks. Sally, how do you feel? Maybe with the maker, with the Black Friday craziness, we forgot to send it. So I know it's filmed because I've watched it. Um, we'll make sure. Oh, I had apple pie for breakfast today. You all, 60 pounds with keto. Lord help. You need to explain to people that if they use PayPal, it won't expand their membership. So for the majority of people, if you traditionally pay with PayPal, please use the debit or credit card method because that processor is called Stripe. Super secure, super safe. Um, and we love it. We added that back in September. But the thing with Stripe is we can change your renewal date. In PayPal, it can only be for 12 months. So if you've extended via um, that for some reason and somehow got into that, which you shouldn't have because we made it where you couldn't. Um, you need to be careful about that.
But yes, so that is why we're recommending the Stripe payment to extend your membership so we can do past one year and we can stack those tiers. PayPal gets really confused when you try to do something for over that. CC says, my membership expires 1231. How do I get locked in to the 151? CC, so double check you're not in at a lower rate um, because if you joined last year, you may be already locked in at a low rate. So whatever rate you joined at last year um, is the rate you'll renew at because we didn't do initial discount fees. Um, so email customer service and they can double check that for you. And if you need to do that, there is an extension on the page. So click the join link. It's the first link down below. And I'll see if I can drop it for you. Um, that's the Summit Passport. Don't click on that one CC. You can click on this one um, and you'll be able to click the existing member like right or link. So check that and it's so good. I won some cookies earlier this month. Don't think they've been sent yet. Natasha, if they have not been sent, I believe Blake just got your address. If it's the cookies I think I'm thinking about, and I'm going to double check that he's ordered those for you. My husband brought me Chick-fil-A fried steak. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Chick-fil-A has a fried steak? I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. Hmm. Okay, how much longer do we have to lock in this new price? CJ, um, it will be for Cyber Monday, so get in. Um, but when there's talk that we may extend it until the end of our promotional period, we have giveaways until December 11th. So we're in the launch period for these offers um, and things until December 11th. That means we have giveaways every day and stuff like that. So potentially then, but you'll see. Um, so yay, we're super excited. We're just letting the cookies bake. Oh my gosh, there's a cookie now. Hmm. I thought PayPal would renew automatically. Yes, Terry, PayPal will renew automatically. A lot of people want to get locked in at our lowest rate of the year. So that's why people are having to purchase another year. So they get the discount and it'll bulk up their membership for like a year, like four months or three months, depending on how many months you have left on your existing membership. Let me tell you, it's been confusing as heck to figure that out. But we figured it out and... I just want to give everyone the best deal um, possible. Anyone excited for Cyber Monday deals? I am Samantha. Ooh, Lizette says, what did you buy on Black Friday? That's a good question. So I was telling you guys, I bought all these new organizers, which I'm super excited. It's awesome. Renee says, so whatever is set on PayPal is what we will pay, right? I think I'm locked in from 153, 154. Yes, Renee, from last year. Uh, Chadwick, what? Um, speaking of what else I got on Black Friday, I was very disappointed with Target. Walmart was okay, only spent like $100 there, um, which I usually spend a lot more because I normally have good deals. I missed all the good deals. I just got like Tupperware. Um, so yay, check those cookies, Tanner. Thank you, Colleen, I'm gonna do that. Oh my, y'all, I messed them up. Yes, CJ, if you take advantage of the new deal, it will be um, canceling your other account. <sighs> Where did you get your washer and dryer? Michelle, thank you for asking. Um, we got ours from Home Depot, and here's why it's better than Lowe's. Lowe's has a, like a, like you have to fill something out and a rebate program, and they're the same discount as, um, the Home Depot, but Home Depot takes it right off the top and doesn't make you go through the rebate program. Sherry says not enough flour. Debbie, it's rough. You all watch me do a cup and then two fourth cups, which make a cup and a half. It is one whole cookie. I'm going to delete this live stream after. Y'all, I make this recipe all the time. I make this recipe all the time. I have pictures. Okay. Since you all are not getting to see the perfectly made cookies, I'm going to show you pictures of my cookies because they're so good. Do I have any from Thanksgiving? I made them at Thanksgiving. I'm heart heartbroken right now, y'all. Heart freaking broken. But it's okay. This is why we persevere. It's so funny. I'm not upset. I'm so upset. 
Um, of course, the one time I tried to do the video. Mm -mm -mm. This is what happens when people don't focus and get sidetracked. Okay, who's ready for these cookie pictures? Look at my perfection. This is what they're supposed to look like, people. Look, I have a tray for them and everything. Uh, oh my gosh. Kimberly says, so I'm bad. I made brownies and went to rinse the bowl, put soap in, and still lick the bowl. Oh, it's okay, Kimberly. Alexa, stop. Well, Melissa, no cookies for us tomorrow. Terry says, but if we already in PayPal from last year, will it renew automatically? Yes. If you joined last year, you're probably grandfathered in because this time of year is the only time that we grandfather people in. Um, cookies sound great right now. Well, Ashley, I messed mine up. So let's look at them, shall we? They smell amazing, just to let you all know. They look horrible. Horrible. What in tarnate? Okay, okay. Maybe I overreacted. Maybe I just made them too big. Here, you all tell me what you think. They kind of look good. Kind of. Hold on. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I'm going to eat more dough out of sadness. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I mean, I don't know. Jury's out. Give me a full review, and then I'm going to read the comments after I stop staring at them. Normally, well, hmm. Hmm. That one's kaput. Okay. Those look fun. Do a quality control test. They're good, just extra large. I bet they taste fun. Scrap them, scrape them off the pan and eat them. It'll be fun. Chocolate, LOL, true. Looks edible to me. They look good, just monster sauce. Still salvage them. Looks good. Oh, CJ says, I'm grandfathered in at 153 in January. Is it really worth changing it? No, keep it. I totally hid chocolate chips from my kids last night. Put ice cream in between them. Brenda, I love the way you think. Just cut them up. They'll be fine. Okay. I promise you guys, they normally look better. Disappointed, y'all. It's okay. We have to persevere sometimes. We have to look forward. Can't be dwelling on the negatives. Tanner, you're being too hard on yourself, Catherine. I'm totally cracking up. It's okay. I don't need these cookies anyway. I was doing this mainly for fun for you guys. Um, to be honest, I know I don't need these cookies like we've been talking about. You all know I don't need these cookies. But okay, I'm going, ooh, ooh, ooh. I think that cookie needed some more time to cook. They're like square cookies, man. They're square. They're square. Mm. They warm. We're going to let them cool before I move them to the cooling rack. Sometimes I try to move them too fast and it's not good. Okay. We all make mistakes, only human. Amen. The uglier they are, the better they taste that, just like biscuits. <laughs> it cracks me up. Okay, so I'm going to move it back over here and let that cool for a little bit. Turn my stove off and get my cooling rack ready. What is my thoughts on paper, or excuse me, on rubber, on rubber versus glass? And you guys get to watch me clean my dishes tonight. Yay. Okay. So I got my first set of glass, um, like, what's that stuff called? Like rubber man? Okay, I'm going to recycle this. Mm -mm -mm. Smell of vision. Thank you, guys. Oh my gosh. Love glass. Okay, it's my first glass set, so I'm super excited about it. Um, but I just want to know your all thoughts. Mm 
if you all have never got one of these, it's amazing. It has soap in it, and you just kind of squeeze it, and then scrub. It's lovely. It's like the best invention ever for dishwashing. I'm getting the dough. Sods clean. Okay, it's 10 o'clock at night, y'all. I should already be like snuggled into bed to the gym in the morning. I have to be up at 6.45, which isn't that early. I know a lot of you get up a lot earlier, but usually I need to be mentally like ready to go. Tanner, next baking show. Have all ingredients measured out ahead, like baking shows do. I thought about it, but I thought that would take away from the fun. Don't forget the beater to your mixer. Pam, you are my girl. She says don't lick the soap. Renee, I will, of course, call Courtney back. I hope she's home now. Okay. Oh, my gosh, guys. Look at all this dough. But it's really just sugar, so I'm not going to eat it. And I also, Thursday, broke my garbage disposal. It was sad. Don't you mean refrigerator containers? Glass containers don't stain or take on smell. You're the fun. It's 8 here, Elizabeth. I wish it was 8 here. <laughs> I have to get up at 5 a.m. Sherry. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm already in bed. Been up since 4 a.m. and it's 9 p.m. now. Deborah, please go to sleep soon, honey. Bless your heart. I love baking on the simple mat, like baking sheets. Tracy. Hey, here. You all are in central time. Must be close to each other. Okay. We're going in all the things. Can't put my egg down the drain since I broke my garbage disposal. Mm -mm. Almost seven in California. Um, how much longer does Courtney have in school? Courtney has until May, and then she'll be out. I've got to catch up on Makers and Learn videos. Karen, yeah, you do. It's so good. Retired school bus driver for 15 months now. Don't have to get up early anymore. Colleen, I love that for you. I'm very glad. So I'll probably be having to get up early for quite some time. And when I have children, I'll probably have to get up even earlier. So, ooh, Samantha says, what is she studying? She is studying entrepreneurship. Okay. Thank you guys so much for helping me clean up. Tanner has killed it at CF this year. Don't let him fool you. Oh, Melissa, I was like, what CF? <laughs> Thanks, Melissa. Melissa, I'm going to show you these cookies. You still have to tell me if you want these cookies or not. Because I don't know. They look pretty rough, but I don't know. Bring, oh, okay. I'll see you in the morning, Melissa. I got your text. We're going to go over here. I'm going to bring you a few. You can tell me what you think. Here we go. They look okay, but not the greatest. Not my faves. These are probably the worst ones I've ever made, to be honest. But they're not terrible. Do -do -do. Look at this. They're squares. They're squares. Okay. Here they are, guys. That was it. I hope you all enjoyed the cookies. They look horrible, but I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm glad you all would eat them. Oh, thanks, guys. Thanks for hanging out with us. It's not about the look. It's about the taste. Stick them in a plastic container. They'll stay soft. Okay, I'm totally going to. Um, how long has Tanner been on? I've been on for one hour. Those snowflakes are beautiful. Thank you. I love the snowflakes. The dough looked to be wet, which allows them to spread. Just adding extra flour would have made them just perfect. Thank you, Sandy. Next time I'll know better. Oh, my gosh. Have a great night. Off to watch their rescuers. Aw. Okay. How do they look at night? Oh, here are trees. Look at the tree. Has anyone seen the tree yet? Okay. Anyway. Look at the snowflakes. They look, guys, the snowflake project has been super popular. And I want to let you all know, they look even more magical in person. Um, and it's a lot of fun. Also, say hey to my bud. 
Gus, how you doing? How you doing, buddy? Hi. Say hey. Tell everybody hey. He's adorable, guys. He's the best. Me and him just hang out. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Gus is like, what's up? But yeah, the tree is amazing. The house keeps making weird noises, y'all. I'm not even kidding. But anyway, hope you all have a fantastic evening. I'm going to clean up for real now, and I hope you guys have a fantastic. Um, are these Makers Gonna Learn Cut Falls? You all know they are Makers Gonna Learn Cut Falls because we don't promote anything else because we want to make sure all our members are able to have all the fun in the world with us. So, yes, grab your membership. The sale has been extended. If you need to get your, your membership, use the coupon code BEST, B-E-S-T. Um, if you need to get your Summit Passport, you better hustle over there and get it because we want you all to be locked in and get supply kits for free. Um, and if you buy two summits, you get the third one for free. That's our promotion. So it's super good. And we want to see you all at the summit. So good night, everyone. Yay. Cece's going to make the snowflakes. I love it. Well, you guys have fun. Did Becca do the tree? Yes. It was a team effort, but she did help and do a lot of it. So thank you guys so much. I hope you all have a fantastic evening and I'll see you very, very soon. So see you tomorrow guys. Bye.